Hey there, what's up everyone? Hope you're doing great today. In this video, I want to show you how to take apart to replace the OLED and glass screen assembly on your Samsung Galaxy S10. So if you're watching this video, chances are you probably cracked your glass or OLED display on your Samsung Galaxy S10. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take it apart to replace it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First off, let's go ahead and power the device off. Next up, we're going to remove the SIM and SD card tray up here at the top. So push in a SIM ejector tool and remove the tray. So next up, we're going to need to heat up the back cover of the phone. So we can do this with a hair dryer or a heat gun. We are, we're going to give it heat around the edges. It's going to have some adhesive there that's holding it in place. So give it heat and continue to move around so that you don't burn the phone in one spot. You can also set it on a hot plate, which is what I prefer to use. I set it to 100 degrees Celsius and leave it on there for a couple minutes. And here are some of the tools that we will be using for this repair. So we'll be using this a plastic card. We'll be using a suction cup. We'll be using a small Phillips head screwdriver. We'll be using some plastic prying tools like this one and this green one. And we'll be using some rubber gloves to protect us from the heat so that we don't burn our hands when holding the hot phone. So remember, we're going to have a link down below in the description for all of the parts and tools used for this repair. So once the phone is hot enough, let's go ahead and grab it. We're going to get the suction cup and we're going to place it towards the bottom where the charger port is on the back cover. And then we're going to lift up gently on the suction cup until we see a slight opening in between the glass and the frame of the phone. As we can already see here, there's already a slight opening. So we're going to go ahead and grab one of the thin prying tools to wedge it in there and hold it open. So this card is perfectly because it's super thin. So we can just squeeze it in there very gently and it will go in very easily. And then we'll move it around just to release the adhesive that's holding the glass to the frame. We can also use the help of a second plastic prying tool. We can wedge it in there and it will help to maintain the back cover open. And then next we're going to go down one of the sides of the phone entirely with the plastic card. We can now remove the suction cup and then we'll just gently continue to go down the side here with this card, removing all of the adhesive uh, that's holding the sides together here. It is recommended to use a plastic prying tool or a card like this so that you don't damage anything inside the phone. Once we slide it all the way down, we can wedge another prying tool in here to keep it open. And then we're going to work our way down the other side of the back cover with the card so that we can remove the adhesive that's on this side. Don't rush yourself, just take your time and go down gently so you don't crack the back glass. Also, you don't want to stick anything in there too much because you can damage the wireless charging cable and also internal parts of the phone. If you feel that the adhesive is getting hard to remove, go ahead and heat the phone up for a little bit longer and it will help loosen the adhesive to continue removing the rest of it. All right, so it is going to have some adhesive also left over here at the top. So let's go ahead and finish removing uh, what's left of the adhesive here at the top of the phone. So go ahead and lift up from the bottom of the back glass here. Let's finish releasing any leftover adhesive that might still be holding the back cover onto the frame. Uh, you might see some pieces of adhesive here that are still stuck. So just go in there and individually separate the pieces that are still holding it together. So once most of the adhesive is removed, we can go ahead and wiggle the back cover around from side to side. I might still have some adhesive left over here at the top. Here has some in this top corner here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it with this plastic card. You can wedge it in there and move it around until the adhesive is completely released. There you go. Once it is, you can go ahead and lift up on the back cover and it will come out completely in one piece. So another thing is inspect and realign the adhesive onto the back cover so that it's ready when it's time to reinstall the back cover. So next step is with a small Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to be removing 15 small Phillips head screws that are holding the back parts of the phone to its frame. So once all of the Phillips head screws are removed, we're going to be removing the back pieces here of the phone. We're going to be using the plastic prying tool and we're going to wedge under the wireless 
charger cable here it's going to be glued down to the bottom speaker so we're going to wedge under it gently and uh, remove the adhesive by sliding it in there and lifting up on it gently then we can use the prying tool to lift up on the plastic portion of the back piece and the clips will be released and it will come off very easily in one piece next up is the bottom portion here this is the loudspeaker so we can just gently pry up on it with the plastic prying tool give it some pressure prying it up slowly and gently so that you don't crack it and once it releases all the clips it will come off easily as well so here we have the guts of the samsung galaxy s10 here is the motherboard and all of the parts on the motherboard so let's go ahead and disconnect the battery cable first just to make sure there's no electricity flowing through the phone <coughs> And next up, let's go ahead and disconnect this cable right here, which this is the cable for the screen that transmits the touch and the display for the OLED. Then we're gonna have to remove three more small Phillips head screws, one here at the top by the cameras and two at the bottom by the charging port. Let's go ahead and disconnect this flex cable here for the top front camera. And let's disconnect the small flex cable down here for the headphone jack. Once that's all removed, we can go ahead and pry up gently on the motherboard. From the top here, pull it up gently. You might have to remove the battery cable out of the way, and then you can lift the entire motherboard and it will come out completely. If what you want to replace is just your LCD and glass screen assembly, this is the cable right here that connects to it. So all we would have to do next is heat up the entire front portion of the screen, the entire front uh, screen assembly. You can give it heat with either a hair dryer or a heat gun by moving it around the screen or you can also lay it on the hot plate which is what I use. And then once it's hot enough we're going to get a prying tool like this, it could be a metal one. Um, and we're going to give it pressure here in between the glass and the frame of the phone. We're going to go around the entire screen assembly just pulling it up and obviously it's not going to matter if you break your screen because it's already broken so we're going to just completely remove the entire screen and then we would place the new screen right here where the old one is and we will slide the cable in through a little opening right here for the flex cable although you can also change the entire assembly of the phone which will come with the oled panel the glass and the housing frame of the phone so it'll come just like this uh, and we'll just need to remove and reinstall the small parts left on here on the new frame so let's go ahead and do that now so let's go ahead and remove the headphone jack if you pry it up gently it will come off pretty easily then next let's remove the vibrator motor with a thin solid prying tool you can squeeze it in there and it will come out pretty easily as well and then next we'll also have to remove the ear speaker uh, we can pry that up with the prying tool uh, try and wedge it under it and then gently just give it some pressure upwards and it will come out and there you go, there is your ear speaker. So next up, we need to remove the battery as well. So you may wanna give it some heat. Uh, you'll do this on the front screen assembly of the phone. Once again, with a hairdryer heat gun, or you can lay it on a hot plate. And then once it's hot enough and the adhesive holding the battery loosens up, you can go ahead and just pry up on the battery with a plastic prying tool. Don't use a metal prying tool because you can cause the battery to blow up and the battery should come out pretty easily. Once you have everything removed, then you'll just have the frame of the phone, which will look like this. It comes with the OLED panel, the glass, and the metal housing frame of the phone. You can order this entire piece as well, which will come just like this. And then all you'll have to do is put everything back together in reverse order. And we'll have links down below in the description to where you can get all the parts and tools used for this repair.
And then just make sure that the adhesive on your back cover is aligned correctly so that we can glue it back to the frame of the phone. So go ahead and position the back cover to the back of the phone. Go ahead and position the top corner first. Once you have that in there aligned correctly, then we can go ahead and place the rest of it down to the frame of the phone. And then just make sure everything is aligned properly and then we're gonna go ahead and squeeze on all sides of this back glass. Go around all of the edges, giving it pressure and squeezing them firmly together so that the adhesive can do its job and glue back on to the phone. Go ahead and place your SIM card tray back in. And then you're ready to power your phone back on so that you can test it out. All right, everyone, so that was just a quick video helping you take apart to replace the OLED and glass screen assembly on your Samsung Galaxy S10. If this video helped you out, go ahead and give it a like. And that is it for now. I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, peace.